Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to integrate Java and C++ in one project with JNI. So the JNI stands for Java Native Interface. The JNI is a bridge between Java and C++. Here is on the Linux and uh, my environment. So it's on the Linux, it's Ubuntu Linux, and uh, uh, it's uh, version 20. And uh, G++ is our C++ compiler, which on the Ubuntu 10.2.0 version. And uh, my Java is the OpenJDK 15, which is uh, on the 64-bit on the server Ubuntu Linux. Here we start from a simple Java program. Here we have a simple Java class, which is called my test JNI class. In this class, we have the main method, and we have two methods. One is called the Java method, one we call the CPP method. So the Java method is a normal Java class method. So it's a receive a string, return string. We just print the string we receive and the label from the which method we print. And the similar for the this CPP method, and we receive message and return the string. Receiving string, return string. The difference between the normal Java method for the C++ method is we have the keyword is native. So it means this method which we built from the C++ program. And we are going to create a C++ program which compile as a library. And my library called my test. And since the library in the Linux has a name convention, start with lab and the extension is .so. And in the middle, my test, which is the library, we use the load library uh, tools to load a library into our ob uh, class object, and then we invoke this method, which is written in C++. So here, the, here on the main method, first we invoke a Java method, we pass a message, and uh, we get a return message, we print a message, we return, and we print at main. And uh, we pass message, print at the method. Similar, we're doing the same thing for our CPP method, which we pass message, we get a return the string, and we print at the main. Here is our code my test.java. So because we have a JNI link with CPP, so we have after we got a Java program, and we have to build our link, which is the header file. So Java C compile. We are going to use a minor h dot, which is the current directory. This minor h means uh, we are also build the header for the C++. So, so let's see. You can see we build the header file, and we also build a, C, a class file, which is a Java class file. So this is the header file. We are built automatically through Java's compiler, Java C minor h, and uh, and it's important we have to include it's jni.h, which is the header for the Java native interface. And uh, this is the function, which is the, what we, the method, which is a CPP method from the Java class mytest.jni. So we should never touch this header file. We just uh, build this in our C++ program. So let's uh, goes to our CPP program. And as a normal CPP program, we has to include a header file. We have to include gni.h. And this is we copy from header file. This is exactly how we, and this function called Java method, my test gni underscore CPP method. We never touch this, and it's automatically gen generated generated so we have three parameter and uh, first is uh, gni env it's the environment variable uh, object and also the j object and we go called the j object 
and uh, we have a string which we know it's the message we call the gmsg so this is our program we just our method we start from uh, scratch we just pass this two variable is standard between the link between the java and the c++ this is the method in the string because we defined this method which is the path string and we're going to use the g string g object and the gni env that's standard defined in this header files so because our program return the g-string so we have to create a standard string called the rtn we just give the message hard coded and the return message from this cpp method and when the, because the g-string is not a string we have to use env object and with new string utf and the utf is a, a, and is so we are going to use an rtn dot c so this is the function new string utf and we are going to use this is a const const chr pointer which is uh, we just is the rtc string and uh, this is our return and uh, this one return is a j string so we can return this with this function return value and uh, this one uh, we receive the j message from the java method so we're going to print this message so how to convert this message and we're going to in the c++ we're using std string which is the standard string and uh, but this is a j string we need to convert to the std string so we're going to use the env gate so this is the method we're using the gate string utf chairs and this is the first parameter is the j string which is our j message and the second matter is the boolean tell is a copy or not and because this is the pointer and so we don't want to make copy we just say not copy if this we put in j boolean true and then we going to copy in this case we're just not copy and this is a pointer of constant chairs so we convert it using string between the normal standard C++ string and we just print this and we print the label which where we print we print from the CPP method and we generate a standard string convert it to the J string and then we return back to this so this is our C++ program and this is the interface header file which we automatically generated from the Java and now we finish our simple C++ program. So in order to compiling our CPP program, we need to edit our make file. So because we know we are going to edit uh, compiling this as a library, so in the compiling flag, we use minus C means uh, compiling, minus, minus WAL means uh, for the old warning message, and in partner we have to use the minus f pic which means uh, for library and uh, because we have an interface between java so i have to define the java home and uh, we, some header file we specify the location for the java header file and uh, there's a java for linux this is the location for java and java for linux and some header file in the current location and uh, because we need to compiling as library we have to use minor shared with the link flag and some library location for the java and with java home live direct, uh, directory so for cpp program we first uh, compiling to dot o object file using our compiling flag which we defined here and uh, we link this object file to the, the library and uh, which called uh, live my test.so so this is uh, have to be this uh, name convention format start with lab and end with .so and uh, this is uh, our 
compiling option, and uh, this is the running when we running this program. We call the Java and uh, this uh, minor D Java library pass, which is a library. Our build is a current pass, and our class is uh, my test GNI. So this is our make file. So make clean and then we make this library. So you can see now we build our library and uh, where it looks good. So we run. So you can see we can, this is our running and with Java data is my class, my test JNI. So we first start our JNI class and we invoke this Java method which we pass message from the main for Java method and this was printed in the from the Java method and uh, this return message from Java method and uh, it's printed at the Java class dot main and this is uh, we invoke our C PP method which we are written in our C++ program and the message from my main for the CPP method and this is our return message from the, our CPP method which is printed and at our Java main. So here is typical so in case if we need to modify something in our C++ as long as we don't change the interface so we just um, vi our CPP file so we add one line and our CPP program we just add one line, print this message second times. So let's uh, save this, make clean, make our library again. We didn't touch any Java, so we can make run. You can see we modify the, our C++ program and we don't need touch Java class. Program is uh, still you know, working as long as we don't have any modification of the interface. If we modify interface, for example, if we add one more parameter in this method, we need to recreate a header file and re-modify the C++ file. But if we don't modify the this interface of this method, so we add one more two line, which is we print our return message from CPP second time, which is a, and then we save this Java program, and then we need to do Java C, and uh, so we don't use the minor H option, which is recompile our Java class. Huh? You can see this is uh, we add the new line from Java, and uh, and but we don't need to recompile our C++ uh, library. We just need to recompile our Java class. So it's easy way to make integrate both Java and C++ in the one project. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.